Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to episode 3 of Satisfactory, where we have the giant space whale tick thing. A strange creature in our base. And uh, yeah, we're still working towards the resource sink as our next goal, so we can have a few more aesthetic pieces like catwalks, and we can design our factory a little bit better before we go too crazy. Um, in between episodes, I just went and chopped down a bunch of trees and put the leaves and wood into our storage spaces, so we should be good on that for a bit. Um, I will also put away my nuts and berries because I'm not taking damage. When we go exploring, we'll need more of that. And yeah, so let's see if, what do I even have? Do I need more? I need a little bit more concrete. Okay, well, we should have that. Now I have concrete coming in two spots. We'll grab it from there, and then we'll come over here. Boom. Nice. All right. And I also think we should do some time trials of uh, whether slide jumping is faster or not. I think it's not. It's not feeling fast anymore. Milestone reached. You have been given access to the anti-waste effort for stress testing of materials on Exoplanet's bonus program, also Wonderful. known as Awesome. Awesome. Your awesome input allows Fixit to comprehend our amazing universe more clearly. In appreciation of this, we have generously set up an internal, closed economy with exclusive rewards and currency. Ooh, exclusive. Directing parts of varying quantity and complexity into the awesome resource sink will grant Fixit coupons. These coupons can be redeemed in the awesome shop for highly desirable items such as new foundations, walls, factory attachments, uh -huh. cosmetics, uh -huh. parts, and more. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Next time you have additional resources, just remember to go that extra kilometer. Go awesome. Go that extra kilometer. All right, for now I'm just gonna set up a basic point generation. So for those who have never played before, the awesome sink is basically a trash can. Oh, I need 15 rips. Uh, it's basically a trash can for items and you get these points internally in the machine that then you can purchase like, it's hard to describe. It, it's it's kind of obvious once you see it. It's almost like a, a um, microtransaction shop, but for in-game currency <laughs> instead. Like, they're random cosmetic things, like, oh, a catwalk package, or, you know, this different skin that you can apply to your foundations. So most of it's cosmetic. There's a few things where, like, the functionality of it doesn't exist until you buy it. So there's, like, a wall-mounted power plug. So it's like a power pole, but it's on the wall rather than, you know, the power poles you build out in space. So there are some things where it's actually a new functionality. So it's not um, hyper important, but it is still somewhat like it would be kind of uh, weird to never build one. It's certainly not something you need to build this early, though. But because I'm hoping to have a bit more of an aesthetic factory, I am going to build it now. Is that entirely separate from how you research technology? Yes. So it is almost a third system, I guess you could call it, because the main system is the milestones and the tier system, right? Which all happens here in the hub. So we've got the tiers, and then each of these are milestones within those. And then there's the phases. There's too many words. Um, <laughs> so each phase is unlocked in the space elevator. So once we build the space elevator, we feed it with certain things. Then that unlocks phase one. So tiers three and four, you can kind of do in whichever order you want, but there's certain things in tier four that need tier three, kind of weird. So that's one system. And then there's the system of the MAM, where like different materials have their own little research trees and these you feed with certain items. And there's also the hard drives, which give you uh, alternate recipes. And then system three is the awesome sink, which we're about to build. So. I actually kind of like, you know, now that I, I've never really broken it down like that before, but there kind of are like these three separate. I don't know what's happening. I'm not moving my mouse at all, and it's doing that weird little glitchy glitchiness. Um, but uh, yeah, it really is a clever trick because they could just give all those things to you instead, um, you know, distributed equally amongst the researches 
It's also kind of nice in that <laughs> all sinks final, no refunds or exchanges. Uh, it's also kind of nice because it makes it so that you don't have a bunch of things that you're never going to use. So like if there are certain cosmetic styles that you're like not interested in at all, you just don't buy them from the awesome shop and then you're never going to see it in your build menus. So it keeps your build menus kind of decluttered almost by nature because you only buy the things that you want. All right, so this is going to spin up and give us 60 a minute, which will smelt into 60 a minute ingots. And we're just going to feed those ingots straight in. I don't know how many points an ingot gets. I, I discovered yesterday the ore only gets you one point per ore, which is very small amount. Uh, we'll see if ingots get us like two or three. I'm going to guess three, but we'll see. We'll see what this gets us. We get... Oh, I have to power it up. Yes, that's a thing. Um, where's the power connection? Over there? Alright. Uh, you know what I might do? Because this is clipping currently through the building. I will move... Power wire out to there, and then I can just... Uh, and then it blows a fuse because we don't have enough power. Really? I guess I exceeded 120 megawatters. Yeah, and then there's the alien DNA thing that I haven't even touched yet. I would have to go kill some more hogs for that. But uh, time for some more. Biomass burners, eh? Uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much good. Connect, connect. And then this guy, we're just off center like that. Pick those up, and then I should be able to pop that on. Yeah, the awesome sink uh, uses 30 megawatts, so that's maybe one reason not to do it yet. <laughs> I feel like I should be able to fit in between here, but it's just, just tight enough. I can jump through it. Um, and this is... Oh, come on now. It's because there's not enough. I need to manually feed in, like, I don't know, 20 or 15 or whatever. Okay, and do we still have plenty of biomass? How am I doing? The leaves, I still have 1,300, and the wood, I still have 250. Yeah, that's that should be fine. That should be fine. So we're getting the full 60 a minute of input. So we're getting 30 biofuel a minute out, which is enough for seven and a half uh, biomass. So. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not a bulky suit. It's more like a extra thick Carhartt than it is like a a life support suit. The helmet is a little bulky, but as far as like the body bulkiness, when you see, can we, uh, here, I can show you. We can see what we look like. It's really not that, it's not that bulky. You know, it's like extra thick overalls more than it is a space suit or something. I actually kind of like that helmet. It, it looks a little bit like a welding mask and it's called to spark new ideas. So that does sound very weldy uh, in nature. Oh, I can change my overalls color. Sweet. Oh, yeah, we're going. We're going like full magenta. <laughs> so when I oh my god, no, no, that's horrible. Every time I slide, I see that color. No, no, no. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not doing that. Uh, my eyes. My eyes will bleed. Let's go back to a more neutral kind of cream color. Maybe a smidge towards orange. Yeah, that's better. My helmet can be magenta. I won't see that very often. Oh, but that's the knee pads as well. 
I mean, where does the secondary color show up? That's like my belt. And helmet highlights. I do like the Crydax kind of green-blue color for that. Oh yeah, and then there's like the little mini game on the computer here. Productive Packer Deluxe. <gasps> Who needs Satisfactory when you can play this game? Um... Oh man, I forgot this existed. I think I've only seen it once even. I think, is it? So you fill up as much as you can with these shapes. I don't know what these numbers mean. Two? Two what? Oh, package points. Um, ah, there was a four X. I didn't get it. Oh, I need like a plus. I don't think anything will fit if I put that there. fit a different kind of L. I'd send it 59 points, baby. Oh yeah, get that X4. Uh, oh, shoot. Anything else fit? Yeah, ooh, that was a good one. Boom. 20 seconds left. When did they add this? I do not remember the update where they talk about this. Um, this feels like a bad shape for me. But I guess I gotta do it. Get something in here. Hey, 400 points, baby. I got one star. That's awesome. I love when games have mini games like that. It's so cool. You can get your coffee dispensed. Little meal trays. Got a blender for your smoothies. This smells like my earth. Aww. There's like actual earth. I like that. My celia in the wild and on the table. Okay, well, that's a lot of cool flavor. I won't lie. Um, what was I doing though? Uh, I had power running for the- oh, I was looking at the awesome sink to see how many points are we getting. Uh, we get two points per ingot. That's not very much. I'd be curious to know how many points we get for plates. Is it worth, like, crafting plates first, or is that just gonna be, like, three points? In which case it doesn't change that much. Feed a storage container in, and I will uh, put some plates in there. Okay, two, two. Wait, is it? Oh no, no, no! Sorry, I'm six points. Okay, six points per plate. Is that worth? It's just more power. I don't know. I honestly don't know if I want to spend that much power on this right now, to be honest. I think I said honestly, to be honest. In any case, we'll just let it run. Uh, each coupon costs more points than the last, I will note. So it, even though I already have one and almost two coupons, it you really do need to start feeding it better materials. Eventually, feeding it a few hundred points a minute is not gonna get you any coupons. Um, so feeding it, you know, the stuff that's more complicated towards the end of the tech tree starts to get you way better points per item. Okay, I have a lot of cable now. I Do I have enough for the space elevator? Now that we've been derping around for a while? I think I might. Yeah, okay. Ooh, where do we want to build the space elevator? That is a question. Let me grab all of my iron stuff. I really shouldn't have settled so close to the stink cloud. Uh, basically, that is damaging 
poison gas, and you can destroy the things with, uh, they're called nobelisks, or nobelisks. You can destroy those, but I have to have coal and gunpowder for that. I might do the space elevator like here-ish on a platform. I never do platforms, so I should I should probably do more platformy stuff. Um, so we'll do that. How big is it again? Oh yeah, it's real big. I always forget how big it is. It's stupid big. Good gravy. Uh, yeah. About that. <laughs> um. Yeah, I like it to be a medium distance away from my hub, just so there's space to do stuff. More space is always better if your goal is aesthetics eventually. So let's do... Uh, let's start here. And I'll zoop up to... I don't know how high we have to go. Now, do ramps zoop their way down? Because if they do, that's going to be baller. Um, no. That would be cool if it, like, zooped. Wait, it does. It does. You just have to have the right perspective. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, off the zoop mode. Okay, so is this high enough, is what I'm trying to figure out. Actually, yeah, that's kind of perfect. I didn't realize there were nodes right there, though, so I may need to go a little bit that direction, too. Um, I actually think I want two meter foundations for the floor. And then... Out two that way, three, four that way. That's a total of seven, uh, eight. I guess ten is the max. Uh, we'll be able to take out the toxic clouds eventually. This is just for the space elevator. This isn't for like my entire factory or anything. I guess this would be faster to build out away from me, like that. I have no idea how much space we need. I also know that we now no longer have enough uh, concrete. And don't worry, don't worry, I will build pillars for these. These will not look like floating platforms. I'm even considering... Um, I could put walls along the bottom or the, along the edges, and then rather than being a platform, it looks more like a building. Um, I'm not totally sure yet what we want to do. Um, but yeah, this is enough space, right? I gotta lock the hologram and see. This is where locking the hologram is super handy, because uh, you really can't have a good perspective. I remember building really tall uh, <laughs> towers of foundations to build my space elevator just so I could see like where it was in space because it's really hard to get perspective on it. So yeah, this is looking good. I'll just need more concrete. is not happening very fast, I will, I will say. Two coupons. I guess I need to build the awesome shop somewhere over here. So yeah, let me show you guys what this looks like. Ooh, dark mode? <sighs> Why would you not do dark mode? So yeah, you can get management stuff like conveyor ceiling mounts, or conveyors that hang from the ceiling. 
Conveyor lifts that go through the floor, wall mounts, wall power outlets, display signs, lighting, different finishes for your paint, uh, different materials for foundations, patterns, different types of foundations, stairs. <gasps> oh my gosh, we have stairs now. Now that is exciting. Quarter pipes, inverted corners, corner ramps. This is all the options. Different kinds of walls, steel framed windows. Uh, I do want the pillar set, probably. Road barriers, metal barriers, railings. Fences. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need the coffee cup. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Give me these coupons. Give me those coupons. Give me that coffee cup. Heck yes. Heck yes. Official Fix It Coffee Cup unlocked. Do not purchase unauthorized Fix It Coffee Cups. They have been known to explode and attract wasps. <laughs> Unauthorized fix-it coffee cups lower your attractiveness to your preferred gender and or your sense of well-being if you have no gender attraction or preference. <laughs> official fix-it products can be licensed for your use from official Awesome Shop installations only. That's amazing. Come to the best shop on the planet for the best deals on all official fix-it supplies, guaranteed. All right, now we got our coffee cup. Perfect. Um, okay, so... I need... I still... Wow. Yeah, the concrete. Do I need to do a third concrete already? I feel like I might... These two impure nodes are just not going very fast. Um, and then iron plates. What's up, Dave? Progress is good. We've got all the stuff automated, at least. Um, not the fastest on anything. Everything's just got one one building going. But we've got all the basic resources. We're working on building the space elevator. This is going to be the platform for it. How big is this? This is 7 by 8. So I guess it needs to be one longer to be a square. There we go. Now it's a square, and then, yeah, so my thought is I could just do walls down from the edge instead of, instead of pillars. Don't know if that'll look good or not. Oh, there's no vertical mode for walls? What? Oh, you can just zoop it down. I guess with foundations, you might want to zoop in three different directions, which is why they made it that way. Whereas with walls, you'd only ever zoop in two directions, so it can just be a single zoop mode. Do I like how that looks better or worse? Than if I just did pillars supporting the thing. Hmm. What do you guys think? Better or worse? I don't know. Do I do hold control? Hmm. I will I will leave that decision for later. Now I need to get more of limestone. Got that one, got that one. Aha, that direction. Okay, so I wanna make sure I have what I need for three constructors and two miners. Yeah, it looks like we got enough stuff. Oh, 
off we go to more limestone. I like how far you can go with power lines. I think most games are not as generous with power line distance. Okay, so there's one right here. And then there's another one over there. Got it. Got it, got it. Is there a rock on top? I need a... That one in the way? Get out of here. There we go. Alright, miner. You think it's okay for now? Which one, Vatamouse? The walls? Or or do you think I should just do a pillars underneath? The nice thing about walls is I could feed it in I could have it so that there's floor conveyors that come up through the middle to go into the uh, like insertion spots to the space elevator and that way I could just feed items into the space elevator kind of just into the side of the walls and that could look kind of cool um, but the pillars are also a bit simpler so I, I might also do that just from a simplicity perspective is this a normal okay that's a normal limestone so I will get the full 60 here which means I need two constructors uh, get the full processing power out of it. Um, default mode. Okay, power up those. Power up that. And then, I think... Alright. Give me concrete. So that will be 60, 20 a minute on concrete. And then we'll do another one over here. Just clear that to do list. Get rid of the rock. You think the structure's too heavy for columns? Yeah, that, I, they would be a lot of columns, for sure. Because it is the space elevator we're talking about, not just, like, smaller buildings. Alright, and this is another normal, I presume? No, this is an impure... Aw, buckets. Alright, fine. That'll be powered, concrete, and bring this guy over. They need a little bit more distance. Right, you need to go a little bit further away. That should be roughly. Good. There we go. Okay, and then I need to connect the power over here. Alright. 
That should do it. Um, so that gets us a total of 20 plus. The other one's getting me 10. So 30. 30 concrete a minute. A lot more than I'm getting right now. if the concrete gets a little poisoned. So my my fix it engineer is being damaged. Wait, you can build straight out with these two now? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Like the train tracks, you can build straight out. Uh, I don't know if that's new with this update, but that's very nice that you can build straight lines. Um, you definitely couldn't do that last time I played a lot. Alright, and then I can merge into that. Conveyor up a little bit. Come over there. All right, boom. Okay, that should fix our concrete problems. Because right now, I only have two impure nodes, which is getting me only 20 total, and that's another 40. So that's tripling my my concrete production right there. Triple it. Sweet. And then screws, I think I have enough for a minute. I'm just gonna do that to do its thing. Uh, Dave, I have not done any exploration yet. I, zero hard drives have been found. I figure I want to get, um, don't you get a, the Xeno Basher pretty soon? It's nice to have that, or the, no, I guess it's phase, the next phase that we get some of that stuff. I also really, um, I need to get some Caterium. Maybe I should go looking for a Caterium rock. Because I think, I think Caterium gets you the Blade Runners, right? You need a little bit for that? Yeah, yeah, the Blade Runners are a big deal. Maybe, maybe we should look for that. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Like our power is almost backed up. Those are 135. Oh, quartz. Okay. Well, there's a quartz rock somewhere. If I run around, maybe we can find one. That's copper. Yeah, I, they've also changed all of that. I and it might have always been quartz, but. I mean, I remember back, you know, when we first started playing, like, those research trees were so different, and they, like, didn't even exist in the form that they're in now. So in my brain, they still feel like a really new feature, even though they're not. All right. No quartz there. Probably going the wrong direction. We do have the map now, by the way. Oh, there it is. Found it. Unknown crystalline mineral. That might not be enough. This mineral is composed of the same chemical elements as quartz and may yield similar industrial functions. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. All right, I will. Don't you worry, Ada. You will research up a storm here. Once we put it in the MAM, we'll be able to scan for it. And I have a feeling there will not be any quartz near us. Memory serves. I think I can survive this fall. Oh, and I still want to do the time trials. Right, 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 right. 
Okay, here we go. Mam it up. Quartz. Start research. All oh, right, silica. The crystalline mineral was a previously unknown variation of quartz, with uniquely large and flawless crystals, normally only found in synthetic quartz. The industrial application of this mineral will follow that of its synthetic counterpart, specifically in communication and exploration technologies. Ooh, six inventory slots is also pretty nice. Um, okay, so yeah, so I need a decent amount of quartz because I'm going to need to make some silica. And then Blade Runners need the modular frames, so I haven't even unlocked those yet. And then Shatter Rebar. Oh, that's new. I I remember, I haven't played since the nuclear update, so there's a lot of stuff that may not be new to other people that's still new to me. Um, but for now, let's just see where the quartz is. What do we got? How bad is it, Captain? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh, wow. Over a kilometer away. All right, well, we'll, we'll get some eventually. Um, not today, though. Or maybe later today, but not right now. Not in this episode. Um, okay, I want to build the space elevator. Stop coming around here. I need some more plates and then the rest of the concrete. And then I shall put away the quartz and the random ore that I have. There's some more iron plates. Don't need more screws. And is this enough? I think so. Time for the spell elevator. All right. Oh, goodness, it's so big. I think I want the. Where's the little control dude at? Yeah, I want that to be facing this way. And one, two, three, four. So this is the center line. So that would be centered. And then, yeah, that's feeling pretty good. It's got about a one uh, foundation clearance on all sides, minus that little corner bit. So what that means is the space elevator is about six by six, probably six by seven if you were being like exacting, because I think it fits fully in six. Yeah, it's exactly six from front to back and from side to side, it's kind of like six plus a smidgen, whatever two of these smidgens measures out to. So is that that's a technical term, right? Smidgen? Pretty sure it is. Yay, space elevator. Gotta watch it. Gotta watch it get built. And then, connection. to Papa. So cool. Nice. Project assembly initialized. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the Project Assembly orbital platform. Project Assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. 
Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore and exploit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is time to be honest. This project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Save us all. Earth is in peril and only Fixit pioneers offer hope for survival. Fixit is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fixit down. Do not let humanity down. Okay, so that's the the story. Is we're saving humanity itself. Now, if I had to guess, humans have destroyed the planet and squandered their natural resources, which is a pretty common trope these days. So that's my guess for why we have to save the planet. Uh, all right, so I can ditch those. Um, let's not get political, y'all. I would rather not get into that. And we're gonna need a lot more iron plates. Jeez. Okay, so yeah, time to up our iron production is step one before we can do space elevator stuff. Need a lot more iron production. How do I want to do this? Um. Hmm. I feel like I already am running out of space. I don't really want iron production right here. I guess I could put it on a higher Z level, but then that's just more work. Hmm. Just don't have a lot of space right here. I could build on top of this little copper factory. And I mean, the awesome sink, does, that stuff doesn't need to be there. That was just kind of placeholder for now to get me some tickets. So it very much doesn't need to stay that. But yeah, I just need a lot more of like a iron plate production that goes into a storage container for me to grab from, but also can go to other things, too. I'm just trying to think. How, how much iron do we have right here? We've got a normal. We've got another normal. And another normal. Okay, so I actually have quite a bit. That's 180 iron. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we do build it on on a elevated platform here. It's tall enough to go above. <sighs> above what? Uh, Waskly, I'm not going to say it again. Uh, don't get political. Patriotism is loving your country, not loving one particular uh, party of your country. So that's all I'll say about that. And we're going to move on. Um, I don't want to move the hub because all the stuff stored in the hub would go into my inventory. That's annoying. But I really don't like the hub here anymore. Because I want to build kind of a second Z level. And I, can you build over the hub? Or will it not even let you? I guess I could put the hub on top of what I build. Kind of annoying. But. Um. Okay. Well, we'll just. We'll handle it. We'll handle it. I need more. What was that? Plates? All right. I don't know why I grabbed more screws, but it's just <laughs> second nature at this point. 
All right, so we're gonna put some stuff in a personal storage box over here. So I have some space to get rid of crap. Um. Oh, thanks for telling me that, Isabella. I don't, I don't love the idea of it flying through stuff, but it's good to know that you can build over it if you want to. That is nice. All right, so we'll move that to, where do I want to build things? Wait, did I? Put away all of my rods, apparently. You just scanned a hard drive and one of the options is not a recipe. Ooh. That's, that's exciting. All right, let me get a view on life here. Let's get some perspective. Um, uh, <laughs> so this will all be deconstructed. That's iron stuff right now. So yeah, I think kind of this being my starting factory floor area is what we want, which means I might want to put the hub over here and then we can have a ramp down to, uh, you know, access it. So I think I actually like that idea. I could put the hub on this. I don't know how big the hub is. Um, it's about that, actually. Oh, I need 20 iron ore, of course. Of course I do. No. Shift click. Control click moves all of that type. Shift click moves just that stack. Hub. Do I care which side's which? Probably not. Is that balanced? Yes. Okay. We can do that, and this is a bit more out of the way. And grab a power slug while we're here. Yoink. <laughs> this semi-slug species seems to persist entirely through absorbing and storing energy from its surroundings. Studying this could provide new methods for improving fixit production line efficiency. Research it in the MAM to establish classification and potential application. Okay, so now we need to build... Um... What is... Weird. Okay, there we go. It was like... To build it so that the top was aligned with the 2 meter foundation was a little different. Um... Okay, sweet. That all the way to the floor. The ground, I guess some people call it. No, not quite. All right, there we go. And then we'll need foundations underneath. Maybe right there. Ah! Stuck. And then... Alright, and then we'll go back to default build mode so I can... Make this supported. And 
And we need ramps again. Even these are not quite aligned. There we go. All right. Now we've got our slightly harder to access, but better located. <laughs> I don't love that I need ramps on both sides of it, though. That is kind of annoying. Um, but it's kind of nice. It's a nice view of the factory. Got the spell elevator over there, and things are running. Okay. So then, and maybe it won't be a ramp down. Maybe it'll just go straight out to the factory floor. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So then, why don't I actually just make the factory on this level? Maybe one higher? We'll actually ramp up like this. And that will be. This will be kind of the main factory. We got a lot of building ahead of us, y'all. We got a lot of building ahead of us. We're gonna have to make it look nice. And I don't yet know how to do that. Oh no, Dave, you forgot to eat dinner. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, I think this feels good. Z level wise. So this is where we'll kind of build our, our first iron factory. probably build our first uh, manufacturers here, the things that take two ingredients. I will move the awesome sink eventually. I'll let it run for now. But uh, I need a lot more resources for this. So then step one probably redoing this and I think I'm just gonna go simpler I'm just gonna do four smelters in a row here like a lot closer or I guess two I only need two and then, here, let's switch this don't even have 10 iron plates. Ah! We're already out of everything. Panic. Oh, and I, I need to move the ma'am, too. Ma'am in the workshop here. Yeah, that's uh, that's always the question, Dave. I've just learned if I say I will critify it later, I'm usually lying to myself. <laughs> so, so I don't uh, I don't want to wait too long. I feel like I already have I have plates and concrete automated, so I should build stuff on foundations and make it look at least okay right now. Because um, if I wait too long, I'll never do it. Oh, I do need more concrete as well. But yeah, for now, I kind of need to get plates. I can't get much more concrete than I already am. I'll just have to wait on that. Um, oh, I guess we have a lot. Never mind. Yeah. 
Because we're up to 60 concrete a minute, I think. We calculated two. Now I have three impures and a normal. What is that? That's 90 plus 60 a minute. 150. So 50 a minute. Okay. So what I'm wanting to do here is deconstruct this. So I'll keep doing the awesome sink thing, but it'll be from that miner. And so now I'll have two miners going to this area. And it's letting me clip the belts, which is very nice for the moment. I will deconstruct that, don't worry. And then... We'll, uh... Splitters. Go to default build mode. No, 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 no. No, no. Straight build mode. Sorry. Straight build mode. There we go. Looks a lot better. It's so nice that you don't have to, like, work really hard to make that happen anymore. That used to just be such a pain in the butt to do that. Sweet. And then I can deconstruct this belt. The power poles are kind of all over the place. Power poles are always hard to get right because the, the power lines just end up crisscrossing everywhere and they get really ugly. Um, I'm going to try. What is that connected? I don't even know what's going on here. So this awesome stuff should probably be powered from over there. You think you'll go slow and make it right at the beginning? Yeah, it's it's hard because at some point, you know, you do have to build a base and I feel like my the final vision for what I'd like my base to look like, like obviously I can't do that quite yet. But I do want to I do want to start to do it at least a little bit right, kind of like you're saying. Alright, so then we connect these. Those two. Iron and iron. There we go. 120 iron ingots a minute. Beautiful. That's gonna be, I think, the, the thumbnail for the episode. Gotta get a good, good view of it. over here. Yeah, there we go. Except it's a moving target. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So, we've got the 120. Take a sip of coffee. Take a sip of tea in real life. I did get hydration redemption going on here. You gotta stay healthy playing all this satisfactory. Okay, so now I have 120 a minute. What are the rates on these things? 120 a minute. That is four making iron or six. Uh, is that right? No. No. Eight making rods. Okay. So let's do... Half of it to plates, I think. Let me just deconstruct all this. This is this is all needing to go. Oh, 
Oh no, my inventory. Oh no. Um, yeah, I forgot about that issue. Now I have cratefuls of crap. Okay, please hold my stuff. I will throw away the limestone. Do I know about the similar building's action wheel? Are you talking about holding E when you're building? If so, then yes. Do I always use it to its fullest extent? No, but I do know about it. If you're talking about something else, then no, I don't know about it. <laughs> uh, that's disconnected, that's disconnected. This is nothing. I think that's unpowered. Yeah, the, that miner is not on. So this goes to there. And now is the miner on? Now we're on. Okay, cool. So everything's powered. Um, this is another extra power pole. Okay, I cleaned up the power network a bit. Cool. I think we got all the extra stuff. Yeah, you only need one conveyor type, like one mark of conveyor. I do wish you could get to the um, the lifts from the same menu, personally, but but I would probably if you have six marks of conveyor, you obviously couldn't do all that in the same one. So I like I get it. Um, but like. If I could have my druthers, I'd rather have it where like the, cause usually you're only building with maybe two types of conveyors at once. Like you have the main cheap one that you're building and then sometimes you have like the faster one that you don't build everything with. But then by the time you get one more, you're usually not building three different types all at the same time. Every once in a while, I remember building a low tier conveyor to like limit throughput. But other than that, I'd almost rather have a menu where it's like the two speeds of conveyor that I like to build and the two lifts all in one wheel. But I realize that would require a lot of different stuff. Anyway, um, so one conveyor goes with one smelter, or one conveyor, one constructor goes with one smelter if I'm making um, plates. Which I am. Probably with three of these. Three constructors making plates, and then two making rods. And of course, there's a rock in the way. And I can just direct connect these. It's nice. That one will be a smidge further forward and there's a splitter here no um okay it'll let me put it there that's good enough okay that should get me 90 uh plates and 30 rods i think I math that correctly. Control V, Control V. Or no, sorry, plates are three to two. So, uh, not 90, but 60 plates. And then, and then I've got a lot of the rods and with the rods, Do it this way. Pop the conveyor out. We'll do the merger right at the beginning. That will squiggle its way back over. Uh, does anyone know how often plants regrow? I want to say it was like five in-game days. 
but I'm only about 30% confident in that answer. I think it's more likely that answer is wrong than right, but that's what popped into my brain when you asked. <laughs> so I think at some point I knew the answer and it's very unlikely that I'm right, but you never know. It might be actually five days. You could probably Google it. I could probably Google it. Now I'm curious. Now I am going to Google it. Satisfactory plant regrowth time. Uh, not foliage. Uh, this says three in-game days, but that also feels like a not necessarily correct source. But it might be three in-game days. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do here now is put a splitter. So this is exactly what I was talking about, by the way. Uh, I will continue to harp on like I'm not crazy for wishing this game had this feature um, because I want some of the rods to go into here because I need them for building but the problem is I don't want 4800 rods in here so currently the only solution in this game which just feels so janky to me is this And I really do think that having the ability to close these off would be nice. I'll do like five. Maybe six? No, uh, five is good. Five is a thousand rods, so. All right, now we just need to power all these bad boys up. Um. Because I'm going to use the rest of the rods for, you know, producing, um, what's it called? Screws and whatever else the factory needs. Rods for, which honestly I don't remember. Alright, and then one more connection there. I can't help but feel like I should connect. That one. Maybe there. Yeah. There we go. No, nope, I wanted to be on top of this. This is why I need catwalks. Ugh. No! <laughs> Platforming. You know, you thought Dark Souls was hard. Try getting on top of a power pole in Satisfactory. Oh, I jumped over it again. Now I'm just... Now I want to make this happen. It will land on top of this. The running start. Nope, I was on top of it. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, now the iron's dried up. Why is the iron dried up? I disconnected the power to the miners. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let's see. How did I manage that? Not really sure. I know I deconstructed a lot of power poles, so I mean, not that surprising at the end of the day. Let's put that over there. And then that one. There. Everything powered up now. I think. I see a lot of green. Alright. Now we should have some plates rolling. That's three times the plates that I was making before. I also need to get rid of these ingots, so I might as well chuck them in here. And then we'll do a merger. And then there's all of our plates. 
again will go out a little bit and then another storage container. Be right there. Splitter. Sweet. You're already working on quartz and caterium? I mean, the problem, I don't, which spawn did you start in? The, I wouldn't have, or I would be doing quartz already if it wasn't 1300 meters away. It's gonna be a, gonna be a big project. Get that going. Yeah, the quality of life stuff is very nice. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Mark II poles are very, very nice. Because, yeah, you know, when you first see Mark II poles, they only have six connections. Or is it five? Does it go four, five, six? Or four, six, eight? I can't remember with power poles. Um, but regardless, it's very nice because these really only have two connections. It feels like they have four because it says four but often you're connecting to two other power poles to keep the power poles going in a chain. So it's only like two free connections that you have per power pole. So obviously increasing that by one or two is a big difference. All right, well, I do think we are going pretty late. We're already an hour and 11 into this YouTube episode, so I'll probably have to call it quits. But we got uh, lots of iron smelting going, and we've got the beginnings of our, our real factory floor where we'll be uh, where we will be able to build uh, much larger and less spaghetti things. So we'll be working on that in the coming episodes. I just needed to get enough iron plates and concrete going so that we can afford all of the foundations. Foundations cost a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, they don't cost that much, but. For what I have right now, they cost a lot, so. But now I can zoop to my heart's content. I'm just gonna zoop away here. Oh, that's so amazing. Only four hours? Come on, those are rookie numbers. I gotta pump those numbers up. Ha ha ha, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, and then we need to go, I did say we need to end the episode. Here I am still playing, um, but we need the pillars pretty badly so that this doesn't look like a floating nonsense time. Um, I've got three more coupons. And I'm getting, why am I getting none? What did I break? Oh, I never powered up this, uh, miner. Okay. I can do that. There we go. Okay, well that should fix that problem. Alright, sweet. Well, we're gonna call it quits there for YouTube. I'll keep streaming, so stay here if you're live. But for those of you on YouTube, as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.